I bought this power bank almost two years back and it worked very well for last two years. Recently it started showing some weird behavior and it wasn't able to hold up the charge for more than one day. When I charge it, it was able to take the charge and showed 100% but if I leave it untouched for more than one day, it eventually discharged completely and it wasn't holding up any charge. As you can see, this is rated to 12,500 mAh and it has three ports, two for two amp and one for one amp. So let's open up and see what is the problem and see if we can repair it. Before opening this power bank, I made sure to charge this power bank so that I can test what is the problem with the batteries. First I'll start opening this power bank using this small screwdriver. So this is how the power bank looks inside. As you can see there are 5 batteries each of 2500 mAh rating and all are connected in parallel. So the problem with connecting batteries in parallel is even if one battery is uh, not working and is dead then all the other batteries also start discharging. So first we'll start by separating the batteries and testing them. So as you can see there are two pairs of batteries here, one is 3 and other is 2. So we'll separate them and test it uh, which set is working. So first I'll measure the voltage across the batteries. So this is positive and I'll touch the positive, pair, positive probe to the positive and negative to the negative and as you can see the voltage is around 3.4 to 3.5 and now I'll start separating the batteries. So I have separated only one side of the connections, I have left the other negative connection as it is. Now I will measure the voltage of each set of batteries. As you can see this is 3.64 volts and even this one is 3.63 and 3.64. So let's leave this setup here for uh, an hour and see how the voltage drops. It's been one hour and let's te test the voltage. This one is 3.64 volts and I think it hasn't dropped anything and now let's test this one. So this is showing 3.62. So that means the voltage has dropped in this two batteries. So now what we'll do is we'll separate these two batteries. Okay. Uh, make sure you don't short the batteries like here. Uh, as you can see there was a small spark here that means the batteries are shorted. We have to separate them safely so that they don't get shorted. So we'll again separate these two batteries and test the voltage and leave them for one hour and then again measure the voltage and see which one has dropped. So after separating the batteries I have left them for one hour. Uh, this set of three batteries is still okay its voltage is little higher than 3.64 now. Now let's test one battery from here and this is 3.64 volts. So I guess this battery is good. Let's check the other one. And this is 3.56657. So that means this battery voltage has dropped. So this seems to be a faulty battery. So now what we'll do is we'll separate the wires from this battery and remove this battery from the whole set. So here I have made all the necessary soldering connections but the problem is when I press on this button it wasn't switching on. So I went ahead and tested all the voltages across the batteries and the circuit board. But as you can see all the voltages look fine and this doesn't seem to be a problem. But it still wasn't switching on. 
So just to be on safe side, I tried charging the power bank using a wall outlet USB cable. And here it was charging. So now I removed the cable and the LED stayed on. And when I double pressed on this button, the LED switched on which was there on the power bank board. So now I was sure that it was working. So when we, are, when we are connecting the charger cable to this power bank, it was kind of resetting the whole system. Next I placed all the components and the batteries back into the power bank. Once all the parts were set in place, I closed the power bank. And then I tested it one more time to be sure that it was working. It will take anyways between 6 to 8 hours for the power bank to fully charge so I'll leave it overnight to charge. But as of now I'm sure that it's working and the batteries won't get discharged. So that's how you repair a power bank which is going to die or is already dead. So mostly as I said there will be one or two of the faulty batteries inside the power bank which can be replaced with a new one or as I did in this case you can just remove them out and leave it so that it, the other batteries are working good. So that's all for today's video if you like this video uh, you might like some of my other videos too. Please check them out at Electronics Made Easy Khadar and if you like this video please share it, like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.